Hey guys, Justin here. So today we are going to integrate the AI behavior toolkit to the dynamic combat system. So you can use both systems for your AIs. So if I play this, this is just the DCS without the toolkit. As you can see, the AI immediately attacks. Now, what we're going to do is uh, open BP base AI. And we are going to reparent this to NPC base, which is the toolkits AI. Now we open base AI controller and we also reparent this to BP AIC, which is the controller of the toolkit. Now, after that, we need to uh, go to, into the event graph and find the event begin play for both of these blueprints, right click on that and add call to parent function. Do this for the controller as well. Right here, just right click. Make sure to connect possessed pawn as well. Now you're going to notice in the AI controller that we now have two AI perception components. Now this one is the old one and this one is the uh, from the AI toolkit. So what we're going to do is click on AI perception zero and copy AI damage sense config. Now go to the original, I mean to the new one, add an element and paste that here. So now you should have three configs. Now it's safe to delete this AI perception, but first uh, let's go right click, find references. Now we need to replace this with this one. And now we also go back to the event graph right here. We are going to disconnect uh, this run behavior tree because we want the AI to use uh, the behavior tree from the AI toolkit. Also disconnect the set timer function. So you should only have from this possessed AI to this bind event on combat. Those two nodes should be connected. Next we go back to BP base AI. In the event graph we're going to add some events here. Click on behavior component, scroll down, and we're going to find on begin attack melee. So what's happening here is when attack melee begins, we want to run the behavior tree of DCS so that we can use the combat system of DCS while using the AI toolkit for the other states like idle, investigate, etc. So we're going to add a delay node here. Now this delay node is very important. I'm misclicking things. Uh, this delay node is very important uh, because if you don't have this, uh, your, your game is going to lag because of all the queries uh, DCS is making uh, in the same frame with AI toolkit. So we need this delay. Um, next, we get the AI controller, base, a base AI controller and call run behavior tree. We're going to plug in the behavior tree from this base AI. And on the AI controller again, we call update target. Now, uh, when attack melee ends, we also need an event for that. So add on end attack melee. So when uh, attack melee ends, we go back to using the AI toolkit. So again, add a delay, uh, get the behavior component, get current behavior type, drag this and promote to variable. Now from the behavior component, we call set defaults and then we use the base AI controller 
in the controller in and then we run the behavior tree of the toolkit which is from the behavior component make sure you're using the behavior component uh, i mean the behavior tree from the behavior component uh, this is different from the one we just used uh, above right here okay and then we again from the behavior component we call change behavior and this is where we're going to use the current behavior type we just saved compile and save so next we add need to add something to the death function so open the death function and at the very end we are going to use the behavior component and call on death and that should be it now i'm going to skip ahead to set up this example ai so we can see it in action now what i did here is just added uh a site trigger for the AI and then reset the idle type to random location so the AI walks around for a bit and in the combat character I also added the player tag so the AI is able to recognize us so I'm just gonna move our player further away so we can see the AI so you can see he is now walking around instead of just sitting uh, sitting there the DCS and now if we get close he reverts back to using DCS for combat as you can see attacks you can also damage him he also blocks and yeah now um, I'm going to show you an example of him um, reverting back to AI toolkit. So in attack settings in the melee, uh, we're going to add a delay trigger of maybe five seconds and make him flee. Okay, so we when he enters combat after five seconds, he's just going to run away. And there you go, he just runs away because he now enters the flee state from the AI toolkit. So that's how to integrate the AI Behavior Toolkit to Dynamic Combat System. I hope this video is helpful and see you in the next one.